Welcome back to the channel. Let's now discuss how to post capitalization of our assets under construction using the so-called line item settlement. I'm here in the Fiori Launchpad and first of all let's now start by creating an asset with an asset under construction as a class. So you can either do it via the application manage fixed assets or you can simply use AS01. We will do the latter one for now. Let's select this one. We will now choose an asset class for the asset under construction. So let's hit on go. Scroll down a bit and here you can see asset class 4000 is for assets under construction. Let's select this one. Click on OK. That's it. We can navigate into the master data. Over here we provide a description test AUC. That's basically it. In the time dependent data we will choose here cost center. Hit on go. Let's select one and that should be fine. You can see the information was derived. So now we can click on save and you can see the asset was created. We will copy this number and now we will first post some values to this asset via ABZO or ABZON would also work. Select this one. Here you can see our existing asset is already selected. We will insert here the document date, posting date, asset value date and we will post an amount, let's say 5000 euro. That's basically it. We can hit on post. And you can see the acquisition was posted, one per accounting principle. That's fine. So next off we will again post to this asset. Let's hit this time with 10,000 like that. Hit on post. So now our asset under construction has a value of 15,000 euro. We can also look this up by going to the asset explorer via AW01N, hit on this one and over here you can see an acquisition value of 15,000 also with the transactions being displayed. So now it's time to settle those values to a real asset. Before we do so I want to show you something. So as you know we created this asset in the asset class 4000. Let's actually look this up in the customizing quickly. So here in the customizing we go to SPRO, sub reference IMG and then under financial accounting, asset accounting, organizational structures, asset classes, define asset classes, we can see our asset under construction asset class. If we double click on this one then you can see here status of asset under construction and you can see it's set to line item settlement. So this means that the settlement we will do in a second will be on line item basis and not as this one here summarized. So meaning that with the settlement you can still connect the settlement to the original values. And we will see this in a second. Now let's go back to Fiori. Now before we conduct the settlement we need to create our fixed asset to which the values of our asset on our construction will be settled. So we go to AS01 again, create asset. This time we choose an asset class for a fixed asset. You don't go. Let's say buildings, master data, let's say fixed asset, like that. Time dependent data, we provide a cost center. Don't go. Let's take this one. Then we save. Now we copy this asset number and we go to the application called AIAB. Define distribution rules for asset under construction. So over here, we need to insert our asset under construction first because for this asset under construction we want to say how the costs that were posted to this asset under construction should be distributed to our fixed asset. So we provide here our asset under construction number, hit on execute and here you can see already the documents that we posted before. So the 15,000 in total per accounting principle. We will now choose the first line and then hit here on enter and now we need to fill the distribution rule. So the category is either a cost center or a fixed asset. In this case we want to distribute the values to a fixed asset. So we choose FXA. The settlement receiver is the fixed asset we just created. So this one over here. You can see we can post 100% to this fixed asset or we can even say that we want to distribute the costs from our asset under construction to multiple fixed assets. So I actually created another one in the background, another fixed asset. So I'll insert it now, this one over here. So I now want to say that 60% should be settled to this asset and 40% to this one. Therefore I double click here on the 100 and over here I will choose now 60. Then go back and for the other one I will do the same, double click and I will say 40 like that. Let's go back and that's basically it. Now let's go back again 
and you can see the status is now green. So now we will proceed with the other assets. So for this one over here, we'll hit on enter. And we will again say that the category is our fixed asset. And now the settlement receiver will just be one of the fixed assets. That's fine. Let's go back. So right now, if we count the total, then 3000 from this 5000 over here, so 60% will be settled to our asset ending with 29 as well as 10,000 from this one. So we are talking about 13,000 in total and 2,000 as of now will be settled to the asset ending with 30. Now for the other two, again here, we will now say enter, provide a category, asset, and we will say the same distribution. So 29, 60% and affix A, 30 with 40%. And for the other one again, we will say category affix A, and the only receiver is this one over here with 100%. Okay, let's go back. Now we will save our settlement rule. And you can see the distribution rule was saved. So far so good. Please be aware that we could have also mass created our settlement rule by hitting this indicator and then hitting on enter. But for now this is fine. So next off we will navigate to the application called AIBU. This app is called Execute Settlement for Asset Under Construction. Select this one. Also here we will insert our asset under construction. Please do not insert the final asset. We provide here our document and posting date and the period. And if we scroll down we can see a test run and detailed list selected. So now we hit on Execute. And here you can see what the report would do. So as expected, if we scroll to the right, then you can see here to the asset ending with 29, 13,000 will be settled in total and to the asset 30, 2,000 will be settled. And this is done here for sure per ledger. Let's go back now, go down, deselect the test run and hit on execute. And now you can see the asset transaction was posted per accounting principle. This is fine, we hit on enter. Here you can see the overview again, but what we will do right now is we will navigate to the Asset Explorer, AW01N, hit on this one. And now you can see here for our asset under construction, we do not have any values anymore. If we scroll down, then we can also see here that initially 15,000 were posted, but then there was a transfer through our asset under construction process of 13,000 to one of our assets and 2,000 to the other one. We can also inspect now our fixed assets. So let's change the number here, the one ending with 29. Here you can see now 13,000 were posted and also the other one with 30. Here 2,000 were posted. So everything is as expected. So last but not least, let's imagine you made a mistake and you want to cancel the settlement. This is done via the application called AIST, Reverse Settlement for Asset Under Construction. Let's select this one. Over here it's also important to choose our asset under construction. So this one over here. So actually the test run will not provide any real information we can execute here. You can see the test run is carried out. However, I would advise you to select here simulate because here we can now see what the system would do. So the system would reverse the settlement. Let's actually do so. Let's go back, deselect test run and then execute. And please be aware that this only works if the period is still open. You can see the system created two new documents. Let's now inspect the Asset Explorer one last time, AW10N, hit on this one. And if we now inspect here our asset under construction, you can see the 15,000 were added again. And also in the history, you can see that the posting was reversed. As well as on the fixed assets for the settlement, 29, you cannot see any values anymore. And the same also counts for 30. Okay, this marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Also make sure to subscribe to my Patreon, where I post lots of informative blog posts about SAP and where we have a community chat. The link is in the bio of my channel. Thanks a lot and see you next time.